Hello, 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 and we are back again. All right, folks, so today is not an unboxing video. It is an actual review of the ta -da, FX True Ballistic Chronograph. All right, so I've been playing with this chronograph for a week, and I'll give you guys all the ups and downs. There's a couple of things that, that irk me a little bit, but that's just me, and a lot of things irk me in any case. But this is a true reflection of what this unit can do for you. It is quite pricey in the market if you compare it to some of the other leading brands out there that's got some red big boxes out there. And one of the new babies on the block, the small little garment that came out. I'll give you guys a verdict regarding that. I haven't used that other big red one yet, nor have I used the garment. So I can't tell you anything about the specs, the accuracy, whatever. What I can do is I can tell you all about the FX. All right, so first and foremost, I love this box that it comes in. Um, in the box, you will find obviously your radar, radar, charging cable, which is quite nice. First things first, this thing's battery life is amazing. All right, so I've been playing with it for a week. It has been running for four or five hours already, and the battery power still says 100%. So kudos up from those small little box FXs. They were worse than a vibrator when it came, came to batteries. All right, set up of this baby quite easy. You've got a little screw there, got a little screw there. These two go hand in hand and you just tighten it at the bottom and Bob's your uncle, you are set up to go. Now, what I absolutely adore about this chronograph versus the FX chronograph Mark 1, Mark 2, whatever we're there on now, is the simplicity of setup. Now for me, I hate putting stuff onto the gun because the moment you add anything to the barrel you change the harmonics it's as simple as that now every time I had to do speed testing I had to build a stack here around the gun to get the chronograph to work and you have to have it precisely at the same place every single time otherwise your readings differ this time around it's quite easy you put this little thing there's a little pointy arrow thingy down there you aim that at your target and set up done. As easy as that. Right, your gun just needs to be in the vicinity of this. It doesn't matter how far the barrel is sticking out in the front or as long as the barrel is sticking out of the front, you are quite safe. Now, a couple of things that irked me right in the beginning. First and foremost, when you get this true ballistic chronograph, you need to update the software. Link below where you can find the latest, greatest software and all of that. And there's also installation being down below. I'm not going to show you guys how to install things. I'm a bit baby before birth, before IT, born before IT, bit baby. All right, so that's me. Um, but the first thing I quickly realized is that you cannot update the software via Firefox. You need, need to have Chrome. Chrome, yes, works. Firefox, eh, no work. That took me an hour to figure that one out. Um, and I said, I was born before IT, a bit baby. But once the data was set up, everything, hunky-dory, no problems out of there. Couple of small things that irk me. These buttons in the back. This is your menu that you go through everything. Um, they, they're plasticky, all right? And they've got a weird little click sound. Ah, and you need to really press it, like, like you press a woman's buttons to get the irked exactly the same in the scenario and then lo and behold the first time I shot with the crony it didn't work and I thought to myself Gert don't lose it this time around but I'll show you guys in the video clip now you can actually um, adjust the trigger sensitivity now that's not your guns trigger this is the trigger for the chronograph down so what I was doing is I was testing it with my EV Mark II Shooting sub 12 foot pound with a massive silencer on it, that thing is whisper quiet and the chronograph did not pick it up. And then I went playing around within the settings and I found the settings for that. Now you'll have to be content with a little bit of a side view from here from the one side because I need to show you guys the startup procedure and the setup and everything from the chronograph. So it's quite easy to start it up. Um, first startup after you've configured everything quite nice you've got the option to configure it right away and this is the one thing that i really think that the programmers in the background needs to find a link somewhere along the line 
once you've set up the crony yes it works perfectly to the cell phone for your readings and your data and everything but there's no data actually on the chronograph itself and there's no option there either to um, send data from the phone to there so every time you want to change your ballistic your uh, projectile you have to physically change it on the ballistic chronograph the true ballistic you can't change it quickly in your phone you can't quickly switch between your profiles that you've got on your phone and then say right put it onto the chronograph it doesn't work that way it's a one-way street the only reading that you get on your phone is the speed it doesn't read anything else from the chronograph so you need to make sure that your chronograph and your phone app has got the same data otherwise you're gonna bat it right so mine is set up currently I don't know what it's set up for let's quickly have a look all right so adding the device quite easy on your on your app and from there and this is the challenge so the moment you've got your setup on your phone you can't tell the chronograph to use the setup use this projectile use this weight whatever so first and foremost let's quickly program the the chronograph and I'm gonna set it up for 22 grain slugs right so couple of things that you need to be aware of in the configuration velocity range not that important primary unit that is just your feet per second blah 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 um, if you then go your secondary unit weight unit that's where we go in you can go gram or grain I'm gonna go grain oopsie right so and the grain selected fine distance unit that's meters right distances you can put in what your target is mine is at 29 meters today and only here do we get to projectile weight now the projectile weight when you first set up the crony it will show 150 grains it's going to take you a while to get down just hold the button it starts jumping bigger increments down to where you want to be and i wanted to decrease this and you'll see it's it's not an extremely user-friendly thing you can keep and hold in and then it jumps too far Bah, just just be patient okay you'll get down to oh i want to go 22 grain you twat not 20 grain 22 grain select that fabulous now i'm going to go down again battle offset don't worry about that too much channel shutdown drag model bluetooth that should be on drag model is very important so for slugs i'm using the g1 projectile general all right if you want to do pallets, you need to go to the RA4 projector. No, sorry, the GA projector right in the bottom that says air gun. I must just learn to read. Okay, that's all nice. I've selected that. Bluetooth is on. And then, this is the one most important. Trigger sensitivity. That one is the crucial one for air guns. Now, you can increase and decrease this. That's minimum. Cross verify. So, basically your settings start with big ball guns with a moerse geraas a geraas that's noise in english all right mine works perfectly with the air guns if i go to maximum at setting nine all right so that's my whole setup and remember to hit the save button save right and then it's going to ask you to just starting up because it needs to reconfigure those figures now guess what happened to my app absolutely nothing all right so now i need to go back to my app and in this scenario i need to go and look at my profiles luckily i've got this profile already um, programmed beforehand and i've got a 22 grain slug and i didn't spell slugs correctly but in any case now i can go into my app and record everything now this is where I think the programmers of this true ballistic really need to go and sit down a little bit is that we can transfer from the phone from the app back to the chronograph that is a big big issue in my opinion that's currently not there and the big challenge there is that once i've set up this whole baby and i switch the chronograph off right it doesn't keep record of your shot count everything the only way to keep record of your shot count the actual speed is through the app there's no other way to do it all right so keep that in mind if you've got some data on there you switch it off you switch it back on 
gone. It will keep your weight, your projectiles, all of those basics, but it doesn't keep the data and it only counts, uh, it doesn't show you short count per shot count like you see on the phone. So without the phone, the true ballistic is going to frustrate the p*** out of you. Right, so keep that in mind. From here on, the workings are quite simple. Let me quickly hit one or two shots so you guys can see the actual readings in here. Right, there's only one test left to do. And that is to see how accurate is this FX True Ballistic Chronograph. So what I've done is I've reconnected the Mark 1 FX Air Gun Chronograph on the front of the gun. As usual, one inch from the tip of the gun. One inch tip, don't get ideas man, one inch, alright. And then I've got the True Ballistic set up and I'm going to fire a couple of shots and see if the readings are the same. Ah, the one didn't pick up. Why not? And that's part of the problem. Why didn't this bottom one read out? Come on. Again, it didn't read out. Okay, so the old FX chronograph did give me some hassles every now and then. And uh, that's the FX Archery True Ballistic pocket kernel I've got the right one selected here that's the device go there all right read up read up read up come on everything is connected ah got it working all right let's see if there's any interference between the two yeah these two are interfering with each other so let me see if I can hold it there and if it works Ah, here we go. Massive difference in the reading. All right, there's quite a difference between the readings. So what do I do now? Which one do I trust? The old chronograph or the true ballistic? Either which way, whatever the manufacturer said, they're wrong with the other one. <laughs> so this is a conundrum for uh, the manufacturer. Let's just quickly have a look at the averages. Uh, let's go to this one and we go and have a look at that. Right, so the true ballistic average shot, uh, average speed 984.4, the normal chronograph 998. That's 14 feet per second difference. And oh my greatness, the spread, everything here, high, low, everything differs. So which one do I believe? Hmm. All right. Let's view the shots. All right. Interesting. Let's view it. Right, so the first couple were low. Don't know why, but they were low. Let's scroll down a little bit. So you can see on the one side where the graph is. On the true chronograph, around about short 11 broke the 1000 feet per second barrier. Um, total difference in readings. Hmm, which one is correct? Very interesting. Any answers? I don't know. Right, so let me surmise the unit quickly. True Ballistic Chronograph, I love it. I absolutely, I do love it. The battery life on this thing is ridiculous. All right, so that's a great thing. The setup is a lot easier. Yes, it's a bit more bulky. Um, it's a bit more, slightly bigger than, than the current one, but the setup, ladies and gentlemen, is so easy. It is really, really easy. Yeah, it takes like any new hardware. You need to download the software, make sure everything works, blah, blah, blah. But once you've set it up, it's an absolute joy to shoot with. I shot this now with five different types of air guns. I haven't missed a single, single shot yet. And as you saw with the old chronograph, I missed a couple of shots right in the beginning. 
Okay, so from that perspective alone, the True Ballistic is a massive step up. Actually, let me just switch this one off. It's a massive step up from the old Ballistic one. I don't know if the small little pocket one is any better. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I don't have sponsors and I'm not going to waste money on a third chronograph. So, let that be. If somebody wants to lend theirs to mine, by all means. But I'm not going to waste any more time. Synopsis. Am I glad I bought it? Yes. Am I glad that I paid the price that I paid for it? Hell no. I do think that for the long range shooters, the Rimfire guys, the new Garmin comes in at two thirds of the price. Does exactly everything this one does except it doesn't do the BC calculation. That's the only difference. But if you're shooting Rimfire, you should know what your BC is. You buy those points with the BC indication and the speed, whatever the scenario might be. So BC might not be important. If you're looking for just a chronograph, yeah, that one still works and it's by far the cheapest of the three models. If you're looking at the lab radar, great setup, bulky, difficult to carry around, difficult to set up. And for air rifles, you need that extra air rifle mic on that regard. Okay. In hindsight, will I buy this one again? Yes, I will. I think it's an excellent investment. I call this an investment. So otherwise, only way I can get past my wife. It is an investment. It's a bit of a pricey investment though but it does not miss a shot and if you watch the move the videos of air tech hunting rule he actually takes the data from the chronograph into his ballistic range finder with all the angles and whatever and he doesn't use scope tape anymore so if you've got both those units if you've got the range finder from fx plus you've got the true ballistic chronograph i think you've got a winning combination there uh, for me to fork out another bunch of money to get that rangefinder as well yes how am i gonna get past my wife that's it that's it for me gonna love and leave you see you guys in the next one that's all folks